church family. Today we are in Psalm 108, and it's a familiar psalm if you've been tracking with us through the psalms. The first half of this psalm is more or less a copy of Psalm 57, and the second half of this psalm is more or less a copy of Psalm 60. But just because David is repeating himself here doesn't mean that the promises uh, are are empty or rote. Uh, But let's read this psalm and see what it has to say to us today. A song, a psalm of David. My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing and make melody with all my being. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is great above the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth that your beloved ones may be delivered. Give salvation by your right hand and answer me. God has promised in his holiness, with exultation I will divide up Shechem and portion out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim is my helmet, Judah my scepter, Moab is my wash basin, upon Edom I cast my shoe, over Philistia I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, O God? You do not go out, O God, with our armies. O grant us help against the foe, for vain is the salvation of man. With God we shall do valiantly. It is he who will tread down our foes. We see at the beginning that Psalm 108 is a psalm of praise. Uh, David is rejoicing and praising God for who he is and what he's done. And you can see in verse 4 why David has reason to rejoice. He's praising God for his steadfast love, which is great, higher than the heavens, and his faithfulness, which reaches to the clouds. And his plea is for God to be exalted above the heavens and let his glory be over all the earth. If this is who God is and what he's done, then David's response is to have a steadfast heart, to sing and make melody with all of his being, to give thanks to the Lord among the peoples, and to sing his praises among the nations. And his plea, you see in verse 6, is that that, that the beloved ones of the Lord may be delivered and that salvation would be given from God when, when they call to him. And if David is singing the praises of God among the nations, uh, among the peoples that all can hear, then how does God go about? establishing his glory and greatness amongst the whole world. Well, we see this in the second half of the psalm. You, you see those lists of places and nations, Shechem, the Valley of Sukkoth, Gilead, Manasseh, Ephraim, Judah, Moab, Edom, Philistia. We see God sitting in, in repose in, in finished kingliness and holiness over all the nations that Even the earth to him is as his footstool, that that he can sit back and relax, knowing that his sovereignty, his authority stretches across the entire world. And if God can sit in this way over the nations, doesn't that give us great confidence as we go into the world to be his representatives? That like David, we can ask for God to give us help uh, against the foe. And, And the foe here isn't people necessarily, but it is this world that is fallen and yet redeemed and and waiting for restoration, that we go against uh, a spiritual enemy and and we need the hearts and lives of of people to be enlightened by God's spirit. And so like David, we can can ask for help against the foe that, that people would be open to hearing about the good news of Christ and that their hearts would, would receive this good news. And with David, we can rest in verse 13 that with God we shall do valiantly. It is he who will tread down our foes. So in Psalm 108, we can find great encouragement and great confidence in our God that that he is a God for the nations. He is a God for the entire world. And we're a testament to that uh, and that we can go and, and help further establish his kingdom in the world. So let's do that today. Let's 
find someone where, whom we can share this good news, news with, and let's find someone else whom we can be an encouragement to as they go about rejoicing in who God is and what he's done for us.